Welcome back, we're here looking at the indices and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday in July 26, 2022. If you like to support the channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and all my trades and portfolio are available in the link down below and our new technical analysis of the cryptocurrency market is also available on eTour and our Patreon channel. You can see the link down below. So we'll start by looking at the NASDAQ and as you can see, we have fallen quite a bit. We had the two days last week where on, on Thursday and Friday where we basically rallied up towards the 12.6 and then gave most of those gains back and uh, it kind of looks like the same play that we saw a few months ago over here when we rallied up towards the 200 moving average and then broke down. Now it's a matter of the uh, of basically what happens on Wednesday. So we may see this market just go back and forward um, until Wednesday when we get the decision from the Federal Reserve, uh, basically how much they will increase interest rates if they increase interest rates at all. But expectation is that interest rates will be um, will be 2.5 percent uh, or or uh, 75 basis points uh, will be the increase. So that is to be seen. Of course, increased interest rates, that should be negative for especially tech stocks. And so if they increase interest rates by 1% as they did the last time, and then we may, may see this market absolutely tumble. So in the case that we fall, if we fall, then we have the 50 moving average down here. We have this upper trend line here as well and breaking below uh, roughly uh, 12,000, which is uh, the 50 moving average at this current stage, we could drop into this uh, uh, channel yet again and go test the very bottom down here at 11K. That is possible. Um, if we could also bounce from the 50 moving average, so we may see something similar to this uh, going up, but we could also drop significantly towards the, to, uh, um, the bottom of this range here, which is at 11K. If you look at the technical indicators, we can see that uh, MACD is still bullish, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well. So at the moment, momentum is to the downside, and uh, but it will probably be really choppy going forward uh, until we basically get a um, decision from the Fed, because that will be basically the main thing that will change the market in this week. So if you look at the S&P 500, S&P 500, we can also see that we are just above the 50 moving average. And the same thing here, we are still in this, um, this bear run, basically in this bull run in this bear market, but and we have broken above the 50 moving average. We have tested give or take uh, 4K several times now and got rejected. And if we break below the middle, uh, the 50 moving average, we may go see this market dropping back towards this channel and drop below here. We may see this market go back towards uh, 3.6K. And that also depends on what the Fed does. Um, increasing um, interest rates to 1% or uh, 100 basis points, uh, then we may see this market really tumble. But 75 basis points is also a lot. And um, considering what, what happened the last time they increased interest rates, uh, it is probably most likely going to be really negative for the market. But that is to be seen. So if we look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still bullish, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So let's look at the Dow Jones, very similar here, still in this uptrend um, pulled back quite a bit today, rallied up towards 32.1K uh, uh, and ended up at give or take 31.8K. So also here we are at the top of this channel. So we may see this market just tumble to the low and then go higher. That is a possibility. We could also rally above this channel and go towards uh, this area right here, which is give or take 32.7 and 33.4. If we break below this channel, then we may go all the way down to the very bottom yet again at the 29.6. 29, uh, 29 uh, if you look at the MACD, it's still bullish, stochastic is still bearish, and the RSI is flat. So European market, nothing really happened here. We have just gone, you know, 
a small range here of the highs of 13.4 and the lows here of give or take 13.1. So we have just been going sideways here and we are right underneath the 50 moving average. So if we break above, then we may go head towards the, the 200 moving average or there's a double top, which is exactly right around the 200 moving average at this point. If we break below here, then we may tumble towards the lows again of 12.4. Breaking 12.4, then we are looking at significantly lower levels. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is turning around. Uh, it's still bullish. Stochastic is bearish and the RSI is bearish as well. So Japanese Nikkei, this is also struggling at the same place that we have struggled in the past. We see the 200 moving average we have gone above we have rally basically above and then given most of those gains back here we have a shooting star and we basically fell here we basically plummeted and now we're struggling yet again uh, so at this current stage we may see this market drop back towards this area here which is roughly at 25 uh, 25.7 k so if we do it may look something similar to that if we take off from here then we need to uh, get past 28.3 in order to go to roughly 29.3 and so on but as it looks at this poor current stage 200 moving average is still um, giving this market a headache if you look at macd is still bullish stochastic is also bullish and rsi is also bullish so yes it is to be seen bringing below the 50 and 200 moving average then this probably is more likely if you look at the VIX, VIX is approaching the 200 moving average. We're kind of almost setting up um, for Wednesday. If the market were to fall on Wednesday, and then we will most likely see something similar to this. So a continuation of these moves that we have seen in the past, breaking low towards down 200 moving average, and when we get uh, bad news or the news that market doesn't like there is if you know, there there is more volatility more fear and stocks and indices they fall significantly so we are technically at the bottom here at the 200 moving average have pulled back quite a bit but this to be seen tomorrow or especially on wednesday whether or not we really take off to the upside if you look at the macd it's still bearish stochastic is bearish and rsi is bearish as well so let's look at 10 year. 10 year has rallied quite a bit. We are trading at 2.807 uh, uh, and we were at roughly 2.839 and gave most of those gains back. This is an area where we are have found support in the past. We see it here, see it here, also here, and we tested it also recently. So Breaking below here, then we may go towards the 200 moving average. Breaking above, then we may go ahead, first of all, towards the 50 moving average. And breaking above that could lead us back towards the highs. But it is to be seen. This is kind of the floor in the market at this point, as we have tested it several times. And these are the significantly highs. So, hope you find this helpful. If you don't support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And good luck. Thank you very much.